Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and today I'll be doing an, um, a teardown of the SEMA X1, um, because that's SEMA's newest micro quadcopter, and I'm curious to see about how they built it and what kind of board it uses inside to see if I can change that out, because it has some issues, as you may know, I'll link my review below, but it just does not fly well, it's got some accelerometer issues with it, so I just want to see what's inside of it, so I'm going to take it apart and I'll show you guys see if you have any suggestions on boards that'll fit to change a new board but first you gotta take off the bra I got the props all off and now um, what you're gonna want to do remembering that what order your props go in um, like the front and back, so I'm gonna want to go underneath here, and there's, I believe, yeah, eight screws you have to take out now. Okay, there we go. Now that should just pull apart. Looks like this screw didn't fully separate. There we go. And then you have your bottom shell here. It's all one piece. And um, with the battery door that just swings open there. So you can see it's all one piece. So, whoop, almost lost the screw. Where'd that one? There it is. So, uh, fairly simple construction there. So, let's put that there. And then you can see there's a little. LED like plate that comes up and now this is the LEDs there's little holes in here and the LEDs on the board actually um, when this goes down they sit right where the LEDs shine through the four holes right here in this little paper spacer um, and that's what shines throughout on the sides as you can see you have your battery connector here and I believe these motors are six millimeter motors because um, I took it apart earlier just so this video would go smoother and actually I held it up to my hubs and x4 motors that I have the spare ones and I'm pretty sure these are six millimeter motors so that's impressive again that that small battery um, the geared props and tinier motors that they're still able to get on that much power out of this but it just the only problem is the board, so that's what I'm going to try and fix once I take it apart to see what boards will fit, if any. So let's just pull this little paper spacer off. It just comes right off. There we go, it's just a little spacer. And then you have your board here, and it uh, looks like a little um, red square board, rounded edges. And the wires are actually kind of interesting that they have yellow and red and blue and white instead of the normal red and blue and black and white, but that's no problem. And I, I'm not sure if you can get spare motor for this. They probably use the same ones as the X, the um, X11. These the motors are probably the same. Um, but yeah, and then you see you can turn the. Oops, let me plug a battery in here. And I'll show you the lights. What they look like with with the body off. Let's turn it on. There we go. You can see you have that's really bright and shining, but you have the blue up front, the red in the back, and then the two whites on the sides. And then that that's where this thing goes in. It just slides over them and it lights up from the sides. So that's pretty cool. Um so yeah, that's it. That's that's all that's inside of it. Um so let me know if you have any ideas on a board that'll fit and to make this better because it, it looks really nice and it flies nice it just doesn't fly all the time sometimes it just wants to die bomb so um yeah that's the end of the video as you can see i took all the way apart um please subscribe if you aren't already and stay tuned for more of my channel and check out i'll link the review of this below um if you want to check it out how it flies stock so um i'll link that below and i'll see you next time bye